On Thursday, Ugandans will cast their votes in presidential elections with calls for peaceful elections. The United States has called on all parties to refrain from provocative actions or rhetoric that raise tension and that seek to divide Ugandans rather than bringing them together. The U.S. has urged the Ugandan government and electoral authorities to ensure a level playing field and transparent process, including through fair application of the law to accord all contestants an equal opportunity. And as Commonwealth observers began deploying across Uganda, former Nigerian President Ole Sigun Obasanjo has called for peace and transparency in Thursday's election. Obasanjo is the chair of the Commonwealth Observer Group, joined the team in Kampala on Monday, ahead of the presidential and parliamentary polls. Candidates for Uganda's presidential elections wrapped up their campaigns yesterday, but opposition leader Kiza Besije has already sounded an alarm over the results. The election has no chance of being free or fair from the start. It cannot be. However, the country's electoral commission is defending its ability to deliver on both counts. The very register we are going to use on the day of voting, they have copies of that register. What they need to do is to make copies out of it, uh, provide those copies to their agents, and those agents are seated together on the day of voting with our polling officials, and they are able to collaborate if the register they have is the one that our official is using. Over 60 percent of voters are young people born after President Uwari Museveni who is seeking his fifth term in office. The World Bank estimates that 64 percent of the working age populations are unemployed, although the African Development Bank puts the figure much higher at 83 percent. Brenda Kipano reporting for Channel 1 News.